know how it so sounds interesting to you, please consider hitting the red button right down here and subscribing is completely free and I would love to help you. In today's video, I thought I would just do a little bit of a mic update because I haven't done one of those in a while and I wanted to share some really exciting news and talk about some things that are going to be impacting not only my personal life, but also my career as a social media, um, social media content creator for you guys. So if that sounds interesting to you, please stick around. If it doesn't, no worry. I will see you in my next video. But the first major update I have for you guys would have to be that I am just... Oh, hit. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Hold on. I had a microphone problem, but I hope some of you guys can still hear me. But the first major update I have for you guys would have to be that um, this coming April, so April 2022, I will be participating in the Disability um, Film Challenge run by uh, Easter Seal. And for those of you who don't know what the Disability Film Challenge is, it is um, a five-stage film competition run by, run by Nick Novicki. He's a comedian, and I will link him down below so you might can go check it out. He's amazing, and it is a short film competition. Uh, and that your team can be made up of one or more disabled people and one or more disabled people as well as some people who are not disabled and not disabled, I'm sorry. And you are able to, um, you are able to create a one to five minute short film about this year's team will be superheroes, so I am participating in that competition between the day of April 10th to the 10th, and I'm really excited to tell you about how that is going to turn out and such like that. Um, I have only produced one short film in my life. Time and I'm excited to try it again and share that experience with you. So depending on what, when this video that you're watching now comes out on my YouTube channel, I will either one make the short film that I made down below, two make the competition down below if you might be interested. Well, see, I might even make my own short film for you guys to watch that I made in high school. So that is my first major update is that I am participating in the Disability Film Challenge. The next major update is that I will be graduating from the Boundless Space Society, which is for those who don't know and the Adaptive Swimming Society run, run by run run by the woman LA um who are adaptive women business entrepreneurs in early humble twenty twenty two. I think I think that program will be ending in noon twenty twenty two. So I'm really excited to evaluate that program. I will miss all my wonderful connections that I made, but I hope that I'm able 
to take the next pin and I can't wait to pair on that now with you guys. Um, also, I'm on the, my, in July of 2022, I will be headed out to LA uh, to attend the Adaptive Women's Projection run by Wilma LA. If you guys are interested in that event at all, I will put all the uh, registration details down below. I highly recommend. I went last year online and I absolutely loved it. So if you want to have a weekend with all women entrepreneurs, dancers, disabled women, make new friends, meet new people, I highly recommend you check it out. So I will be attending that convention while we're on the uh, while we're on the topic of convention that I will be attending. If you are in the Fasano area this summer, I will be attending the Fasano Ability Expo again this year. So make sure you say hey if you want to attend. Not attend, but if you're going and you want to come hang out and tell me hi or whatever, I will be at the Fasano Ability Expo later earlier in the summer, so make sure you come by, check it out, say hi, see what the Ability Expo has to offer. But anyway, I think that all my business updates I have for you guys when it comes to the GP my plan, but one of my major updates that I have for you guys would have to be that next year, many of you may know that I have a match, so I'm 21, like I mentioned earlier in this video, and how many of you may know that I decided not to attend a university when I graduated high school two years ago because, uh, um, because of mobility issues, mobility issues, and uh, mainly mobility issues, but also I had a passion of running this plan and doing something other than a university. So a lot of you know that I do not attend a university as of right now. I may, I may go to a university one day, but I have no plan. However, that that doesn't mean that most of my friends or most of the people that I hang out with who are my age, most of them are at a university right now and some of them are even in the senior year of college. So what does that mean? Why am I telling you this? Well, I'm excited to announce that as of next year, so 2022, so as of May 2022, most of my friends will be moving back to my hometown with for those of you who don't know, I live in Missouri, so most of them will be graduating from their university and moving back to my hometown. Now, why do I mention this GMI in this update video? Well, um, it is simply because I wanted to talk about this topic because I know that many of you might be in my situation or might be might be going into my situation depending on how old you are and what you want to do with your life. But um, so I wanted to talk about the topic of building a relationship with somebody who is non-disabled and somebody who is disabled 
to in turn and into Avery Hempstead. And I wanted to talk about some of the horses that I went to and why those are important and how they built me into the person I am today. So when I was in high school, I had a lot of thought, a hard time making true friends because a lot of the time people would only be my friends for volunteer hours or community service hours. Even if they didn't tell me, hey, I'm hanging out with you because I need volunteer hours, they, you can tell by how they act around you, or even someday, like, someday people will just disappear because they no longer needed the volunteer hours. So in high school, it was very, 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 very important for me to uh, make friends and have meaningful relationships. However, that did not stop me from trying. When I was a senior in high school, I met this, I met this, um, fireman. This is kind of a topic for me to talk about, but I thought I would put this video out there for anyone, um, who might need it. So when I was a senior in high school, after, after dealing with a lot of pretend people in my life, or people who are, um, who are, um, only hanging out with me for volunteer hours or community service hours, I finally, when I was a senior in high school, so about three years, was just trying to make true friends and not really having any success, I met a boy, um, his name is Sam, you might, might, um, you might, might know Sam if you follow me on Instagram, you, um, you may not know Sam, um, hopefully one day he'll be on my channel, but, um, I met this boy, and uh, we kind of, I was able to build a relationship. He was at a university and still is at a university three hours away from my home, hometown, but he happened to be coming home a lot and was a friend of one of my friends, so we became mutual friends and we started talking every day and I um and I made friends with him and we hang out. I go to his volleyball tournament. He comes home to see me periodically, primarily on winter break, summer break, spring break, Thanksgiving break, all the break. And we were able to, despite, despite having that non distance relationship, he really put in the effort. And I feel like not only him, but a lot of my friends really put in the effort to make sure that I'm okay on a daily or weekly basis. So I built those relationships with the people who were away at a university and why is that important that you may ask? Why is it important that you stay in contact, that you build incredible bonds with the people even if they're not in your hometown? Well, I believe having a long distance friendship that might eventually turn into something you can have in your adulthood is important because now, as I said earlier, most of them are moving home to my hometown after graduating 
from a university and by having by having those meaningful relationships and those unbreakable bonds with your best friends who might eventually move home after after maybe they're on deployment or at a university or they moved away to a career, whatever it may be. When they come home, um, excuse <coughs> me, my. When they come home, I feel like at least for me, having people around really helps my um, mental health, and it allows me to have a more independent life. Because I don't have to always rely on my family to take me somewhere or to be available to help me out. Yes, I will not see my son every day or every week like I do with my parents. But having people move back home that year will provide that independence that I miss because when you are disabled, we all know that most of the time you rely on somebody 24 seven and that you get bored of having the same person every day or every hour. So having a variety of people that can help you whenever you need or whenever you want a break is going to be wonderful. And also, not only having that independence, but having the ability to connect with that person who you have been in a long-distance friendship for a while with will create more, more opportunity to um, meet other people um, that your best friend might know. Because having a disability can be very isolating at times. So when somebody comes home, and I could be wrong because I, this is my first time doing this, but I was going through it, not doing it. But I feel like having the people home will, will not only provide that independence, that I'm missing and that variety that we all desire as humans, but also the ability to meet new people and be part of the culture that, that you may have not had the opportunity to be part of because you either did not have the ability to meet new people or it was really hard. So yeah, um, so that's another bit update. Um, that's another bit update. People will be moving home, and I will have I will have more variety. So that's exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little mic update video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I'm sorry. Have a thumb below. Let me know what is what is going on in your life and what are you most excited about. I'm most excited about um, the variety of new things that I have going on and the memory I will make with my friends that are moving home from the university. So, bye-bye. I will see you in my next video.